Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be reviewing WWE Friday Night Smackdown, 14th of February 2020, Valentine's Day edition. They didn't do anything special apart from one segment. Uh, we start with a moment of bliss with Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, and their coffee. Somehow the coffee has become a third member of this. I don't know how. Alexa Bliss welcomes everyone to the first moment of bliss of 2020. Nikki wishes everyone a happy Valentine's Day. They talk about celebrity crushes. Mention the word Brad Pitt. Carmella comes out. Alexa congratulates her for winning and becoming the number one contender. Alexa says some might say it's surprising since we haven't heard much about you lately. Carmella said that she will surprise Bailey and everyone becoming two-time champion. They then show some pictures. Oh no. Uh, they mention that she used to be friends and then... Um, Carmella says Sasha is the reason why Bailey is now a completely different person and not friends anymore. Bailey comes out to the stage, tells Carmella that's nothing to get annoying. This isn't about Sasha, it's about you. Ever since NXT, she has pitted Carmella. They were friends, but not best friends. Bailey said you could show the girl the ropes and be a role model and leader. Carmella, you're a loser, and I'm the most dominant women's champion. <laughs> Bailey reminds Alexa that she beat Alexa and her best friend last summer. Bailey said no one can touch Bailey. Carmella said, let's forget about later. Let's do this right here, right now. So we have Bailey versus Carmella for the women's championship to kick off the show. The moment of bliss, six point five out of ten overall, an all right segment. Uh, we then go to the match. Bailey with a roll up and a feet on the rope for the three count. Bailey retained the championship. She then attacked Carmella after the match. Naomi made her way to the ring, and Carmella and uh, Naomi fight off Bailey. So yeah, uh, the match two point two five, and they only got the point two five because of the heel way to win. It was not that good of a match to be honest. Bailey retained, fantastic. I knew she would. Um, then we were told that Baron Corbin cannot compete tonight because of his actions last week. Nice that they're playing on that a little bit. Uh, then we have Caleb Raxton with Bailey and said, Are you going to give Carmella another match due to your controversial finish? Bailey says she's got her hands raised and she's beating everyone. The next time she will defend this title, it will be at Super Showdown. Yes, um. Bailey is going to be the first women's champion to defend their championship in Saudi Arabia. So, interesting. Uh, then we have a bit of Lacey Evans talking about family and that kind of thing. She will be returning next week to be interviewed by Renee Young. Oh, the Bailey thing gets 5 out of 10. Average did what it needed to do. The Lacey thing didn't really get anything. Then we see Otis getting ready for his date. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Not really going to rate it. Then we have Sheamus versus Shorty G and Apollo Crews. Sheamus with a bro kick for the three count. 2.5 average. Sheamus won. Very good win there for Sheamus. We like it when Sheamus wins. Shorty G, no one cares about you. And Apollo Crews, why are they wasting you? You're actually talented. Um... Carmella walks in the back and Kaylee asks her about coming close to winning. Carmella says she deserves a rematch and she demands it. She said that she'll be the next women's champion. I don't get how you deserve another title shot. No matter how you lose, you've still lost. Okay, moving on. Um, the interview, 5 out of 10, no average stuff. Mandy arrives at the restaurant for a date. Then, Hulk Hogan is in Florida. Michael congratulates him on becoming a two-time Hall of Famer. He said Hulk Hogan being acknowledged, uh, being acknowledged with the NWO and the WWE Universe is strong. Hulk Hogan put the business on fire and NWO took it to a different level. Doing it in Tampa is for life. Cole asked Hogan about Goldberg's match with Athene and whether Goldberg has a chance. He says that he's told people that... He has been where you are now. He said he knows the power of Bill Gold, but he also feels the energy from the Fiend. He tells the Fiend he better try to survive. 
Uh, we then get an old school NWO tribute message paid for, for by uh, FFH or Five Five Funhouse. Bray rips off the shirt, poses like Hogan, says hello to the Hulkster. He has been following his advice, he's been saying his prayers and taking his vitamins. Don't take Hulk Hogan vitamins. Uh, now he has the title. Husky asks Bray what he's doing. Bray says he's talking about muscles. Something Husky doesn't know about. He asks Husky if he wants a piece of chocolate and Husky eats it. Bray says he hopes it isn't too sweet. Hogan said that you're pretty entertaining. When you get in the ring with Go Bill Goldberg, it will not be a joke. I wish you luck. Uh, Bray says he doesn't need luck. He has a fiend. If you want to catch your brother, there'll be what. Oh, be a room for one more and he picks up like a Hulk Hogan picture Hogan thanks him for the interview and leaves 10 out of 10 god damn it bro you are so damn entertaining mate very very good we then go to Cesaro and Sammy's in the ring Sammy has a ukulele yes I knew it was a ukulele Cesaro has a cowbell Sammy walks everyone for their protest contest to protect protest the lack of action for their cause against Elias and Braun Strowman. Before Sammy can storm, Elias interrupts. Uh, Elias is like, you know what they're talking about, it doesn't matter at this point. The crowd chant, walk with Elias. Interrupting him. So, uh, then they start the song, and then Sammy's like, we need less cowbell. The crowd wants cowbell, so Cesaro says adios to the cowbell. Sammy says, if people don't shut their mouths, the concert over. He asks people if they think it's a joke. He said the only joke is having Daniel and uh, Henrik Sadden's numbers in the rafters. Don't have a clue there. Um, Cesaro tries to attack Elias. Elias fights back. Cesaro hits Elias from behind. and Strowman makes his way to the ring. Knocks down the security. He chases Sammy, a member of security, uh, touches Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman annihilates his security member with Elias. 7.5 out of 10, entertaining segment. I mean, I wish Sammy would wrestle at this goddamn point, but this was entertaining enough. Then Naomi is in the back with an interview. She said she's sick of what Bailey's doing. She ma demands a title shot because ba she, Bailey has never beat her. She'll be the next woman champion. I've got to ask this, Naomi. What have you done to deserve a title shot? Just because you Bailey has never beaten you doesn't automatically make you have a title shot. If anyone, if you're just going to go around and demand things and somehow get it, then what the hell? I'm going to go to the bank and demand that they give me one million dollars. Not not going to threaten them. Just like, yeah, I think I deserve one million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Not robbing you, you're just willingly giving me this money. Thank you, bye. No. Naomi. Mean, Two out of ten. Not impressed with that. That was just shit. And in two weeks, John Cena will be here. Fantastic. And then it's announced that Goldberg will be there next week. And Bailey and Naomi. Oh, Naomi and Carmella will face off for the right to face Bailey. Otis arrives at the restaurant. He asks if there's a beautiful peach is there. Otis is uh, sent to his table and we see Mandy Rose at the table. Someone taps on her shoulder. She thinks it's Otis but it's Dolph Ziggler. Otis sees Mandy with Dolph. Otis is heartbroken. Drops the flowers and leaves. You know what? I just can't. I just can't. Dolph Ziggler, you fucking asshole. You ruined Otis. I mean... Otis is heartbroken. Honestly. Thought he was going to have an amazing date with Mandy Rose. A lovely woman. And you fucked it up, Dolph. You absolute arrogant fucking asshole. I'm not happy. 10 out of 10. Moving on. But no, seriously. Uh, really, really good. Absolutely fantastic. And we're obviously going to get an Otis and... Uh, Dolph Ziggler rivalry out of this but I mean Otis just played it perfectly uh, then we have our main event of the evening Miz and John Morrison versus Roman Reigns and a mystery partner the reason why it's a mystery partner because the Usos cannot go to Canada due to their DUI 
because you're not allowed to travel to Canada if you have a DUI. Oh, that then Baron Corbin makes his way to the seat that's conveniently placed in the front row. The mystery partner is Daniel Bryan. Uh, Roman with a Superman punch to Miz, spear for the three count. Uh, yeah, the match was alright. I'm going to give it a 2.75 out of 5. The wrong people won, in my opinion. I think Miz Morrison should have definitely won. But hey ho. Uh, then Baron Corbin trespasses and hits Roman with his scepter. Yeah, overall, the SmackDown was kind of meh. There was a couple of peak moments, like the Otis stuff and The Fiend, which is seems to be the only thing that's ever decent on this show anymore. Going to give this show a 4 out of 10. Overall, below average. Damn it, just work on SmackDown, guys, please. Jesus. I'm looking forward to Super Showdown, which I will be live for actually live this time guys because I've got the evening off so I can actually be here for Super Showdown on the 27th because I managed to uh, get myself the evening off even though I normally work on a Thursday thank you Ben yes Ben managed to give me the evening off because I'm making him work which is mean of me to make him work but he's got like a sad evening off so well, hey ho thank you Ben Massive shout out for you letting me get a super show now. Anyway, thank you all for watching this review. Make sure you smash that like button. Please, please subscribe for more content. Daily food reviews, product reviews, reviews of wrestling and live reaction replays and all that kind of stuff. Uh, please follow me on Twitch. I'm going to actually put the Twitch uh, link back into the things because I actually stream on Twitch now. Uh, but yeah, thank you all and I shall catch you all. Hey, leaders! Bye.